This field of men as part of the gender equality, gender justice movement, I think has found a bigger space. This topic is really where we allow men to reconnect to their humanity. That we drink at the fountain of bell, bell hooks and other feminists who have said, this not only helps us achieve equality, but it allows men to reconnect and connect up with their deeper sense of what it means to be human. In general, the younger generation gets it. They've got more progressive views than their fathers and the generation after before that. At the same time, it's a really frightening moment to be a young man in much of the world because it's not clear what manhood means as much anymore. It's not clear what kind of employment will be out there for you. Um, as we look at the instability of employment, we're finding in some regions that what looks like a backlash. Some men, young men, 18 to 30, gravitating to this kind of tough guy manhood because it's in the media, because it gets pushed from certain cultural voices, because conservative religious forces want to push back, because conservative political forces are saying, hey, not so much feminism, women went too far. Um, and I think that fear of, you know, where, where am I going if there's no promise for me of being a working man, and that's what I still see my identity about, I think we're seeing a bit of a backlash. Young men in the U.S. were the most in the box. <laughs> in the box meaning stuck in a toxic version of manhood that says I gotta act tough, I can't seek help, I've gotta use violence if I have to to get my way. Not surprising in the backdrop of our U.S presidential elections. The Middle East, we found the younger generation has less progressive views than their fathers, their father's generation, about gender equality. We think it may have to do with the wave of conservatism in the region. It may have to do with these huge youth and young men's unemployment in the region. Um, but that's a troubling finding. At the same time, we see a support for women's equality, greater acceptance of sexual diversity, um, or of respect for individuals of diverse sexual orientation. So there's, there's mixed stuff going on. It's both, it's freedom and confusion at the same time. This is saying if men and boys don't do 50% of the unpaid care work, the caring for our homes and our children, our loved ones, our elderly parents, we don't achieve gender equality. Fatherhood sort of gives us the excuse in this rigid model of manhood. Fatherhood sort of becomes an excuse that men can say, my work doesn't matter all that much. Um, whether my team makes it to the playoffs is ultimately not as, as important as my two-year-old child who wants to hang out with me. Uh, and another piece that we find is just how much men's lives are troubled by these rigid views of masculinity. Everywhere we've looked as well, men who believe in these rigid, tough guy versions of manhood, their beliefs on that are very strongly related to if they're depressed, if they think about suicide, if they consume alcohol in dangerous amounts, and with their life happiness. So what that helps us find is that men have something to gain with changing as well. We're doing this for equality so that women have better lives, but men's lives also get better. We find over and over if they buy into a more equitable, less rigid, less toxic view of what it means to be men. I think once equality gets out and gets lived, there is no going back. 